Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day or night in Jesus. We're exegeting John chapter 1 right now, specifically the first six verses. Now, on this particular uh, episode, I almost said podcast, also do a podcast, but on this particular video, I want to give some hints on some other ways to really see and bring out what God is trying to speak to us through his word. And so we're not going to go into Hebrew, Greek, anything like that at the moment. But one way is, again, thanks for being here, is to read this particular passage of scripture in a paragraph Bible or a single column Bible. Read it in a paragraph Bible or a single column Bible. And I will tell you, I rotate my Bible reading between versinated Bibles, you know, John 1, John 2, John 3, you know, and a paragraph Bible. And almost all of the Bible would have originally been written in paragraph form. So you're getting it kind of the way it would have originally been written and probably written in Greek, however, but English is actually a cognate language of Greek. A lot of people don't know that, and which is a cognate language of Paleo-Hebrew. And so reading it that way, you tend to get more out of it. I will say that. Um, at least you're, it's like you're looking at it from a different angle. And another thing we need to consider is in rightly dividing the word of truth this is one of the four gospels so it never hurts to like read a biography even if it's like in a new unger's bible dictionary or a holman bible dictionary or a nelson's illustrated bible dictionary of who john is uh zondervan pictorial encyclopedia baker encyclopedia something along those lines you know, even Wikipedia can help, but just know this, Wikipedia is not run by Christians. And so while sometimes it has a lot, many wonderful helps in it, that, you know, it's going to be getting every viewpoint and every viewpoint is going to be allowed on there. And so it may not always be an accurate viewpoint or what I would consider conservative Christian viewpoint. So just be aware of that. That's the reason we want to use other study apps. And we always want to get hard copies of these things. So that way it can't be edited out of existence that you've got a hard copy. Another thing that you'll want to do is just to meditate upon these scriptures. Now I'm not talking about new age meditation techniques, but scriptural, you know, the Bible talks about uh, in Hebrew, the word picture is like a cow chewing its cud, that you're just thinking uh, uh, upon this. Um, Blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he doth meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Um, this book of the law, uh, God told Joshua, shall not depart from out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Then shalt thou make your way fruitful, have a good success. I don't have that one memorized as good as I used to anyhow. But anyhow, you get the idea, meditating on the word of God. So in the beginning, you know, and just thinking about all of the ramifications of in the beginning, what was before the beginning, well, God was before the beginning, and then was the word, and what does this, you know, there's not two gods, so what does this mean? And on and on, you know, verse five, and the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. What do all these things mean? So we're just looking at some ways to properly interpret Scripture. So you go into Scripture with an extremely high view of Scripture. And uh, another thing that I personally like to do is like the Life Application Bible Chronological Bible. And what this does, Tyndall House puts it out. Uh, Bruce Barton, Dave Veerman, great people did the original life application. It sold over 55 million copies. They helped us with the Premier Study Bible, which a team of folks got together and did, Pentecostal folks. You can get that from Insignia Books and the WPF Bookstore, I think, maybe some other places. But the Life Application Chronological Bible. 
because what this is going to do is it's going to uh, put the Gospel of John in chronological order. So you see who God, uh, John is through biography, and then where does this fit in with the Bible? Where is John 1.1 1, 1 written chronologically? And that helps enormously. So these are just some helpful tips. I hope in studying the Bible because you know there's thousands of different religions all claiming to come from one book and we just want what God wants and so a prayerful look a humble look at, Bible, at the Bible is what we want so God bless you thanks for being here check out our other videos please subscribe hit the bell notification and share with your friends family and church family God bless we love you bye bye